Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes to knit. And this is a knitting podcast. It's episode 63 and I'll be talking about knitting. Knitting. Thank you so much for clicking in and checking me out. Um, you can find me everywhere as Knitting I Love, so I would say hi to you from other social media platforms. Most often you can find me on Instagram, basically I live there. Uh, yeah, and what else? Um, as I mentioned, I'm Polish, I live in Ireland for the last I would say 12 years. I hope you knew that. If not, that's information. And uh, I really enjoy living over here. I work full time and uh, my husband is self-employed and I'm also self-employed. We're kind of a partnership from the moment I um, created a website, knittingilove.com, where you can find my little shop and my things over there that I sell and use. So during this episode, you will see a bit here and there. But most of all, it's about knitting. It's about knitting loads of things and how knitting relax and how knitting relaxes me. And that's why I knit a lot. Lately, I have loads of stuff on my needles. And as some people notice on Instagram, I'm kind of crazy starting and finishing. There is a reason behind it, but in a while. Underneath this video, you can also find a tan stamps and show notes, so you can skip to the section you want to see. Um, I'll try to link as many things as I can. Okay, uh, so let's start and move on. Okay, first things first, it's what I'm wearing because the weather has changed and uh, during my walks, uh, my challenge this month is to walk every day and so far it's now 26th of August and I'm managing it and I'm so happy and it's not only that because so, uh, my walks contributes to a hashtag climb every mountain ha uh, climb every mountain run organized by uh, Becky Bears which is Kay and Dan um, if you're interested to hear more about it anyone can join you don't have to be a knitter um, the only thing is will be that uh, you will join us on Runkeeper. It is a free platform, you can uh, uh, sign for it and you, you don't have to have a smartphone to use it. Um, you can use it on the computer, I just put things manually. Actually, I put things manually, I don't use the app, I'm using my watch and then I'm just putting whatever I have on my watch onto Runkeeper. Uh, because otherwise my battery is, is running quickly low on my phone and sometimes during the walks I like to watch podcasts. The weather has changed so I can have a tea. I never really showed you what I'm drinking because most of the time I'm talking over here and I do not have the time to drink but I thought I'll show you because I have a few questions in regards to what I'm drinking. Uh, on Instagram you can see, especially on stories, I, my stories are more like a vlogs, everyday things. Um, you can have a spot of here and there and knitting and walking and baking and so on and so on. Um, so uh, yeah, I was asked about teas. I like herbal teas and uh, here it is. This is Ikea so anyone can get it. This is a small version. I have a bigger version. Well, the bigger version is like two liters, uh, so it's, it's, it's too big anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Although I have an idea, I could actually use just the glass thing for something. Um, but over here I have a, a, a nice thing. I call it a sif, which means stuff in my language, the same word. Well, pronunciation of that word means something and I don't want to talk about it over here. <laughs> Check it out. Right. <laughs> That's completely now threw me up. Okay, so here it is. And what I have, I have a loose herbs that I buy in the shop or I have it in my garden and I just throw it over here and I drink it. And I don't uh, use sugar. I dropped using sugar um, maybe in 2015 since the uh, health situation I had and um, I decided to take care of myself a little bit more and be more uh, aware of what I'm eating and what I'm drinking and so on and so on. Basically you do those things once something hits you, <laughs> once something will hit you. Otherwise you always think that you're young, healthy and strong and nothing is going to um, drag you on your knees. 
or something like that. Right, the tea is not the only thing I'm having over here. I have uh, this beauty of it. Um, I don't bake, I'm not a cook whatsoever. I always admit that um, I have time for knitting because I'm an assistant cook. Let's say that we're at our house, uh, Seb cooks most of the time, but he's away for uh, some weekends and then I can have fun. Not that I don't enjoy it, um, I'm not really I'm, I don't know why. <laughs> he wants to do it, he can do it, that's fine, I'm happy about it. Sometimes I'm helping him and sometimes I'm knitting during that time, so yeah. Uh, but I try to surprise him a bit when he comes back and I uh, baked him something and uh, I like this very much. And uh, I created a playlist on YouTube which is knitting and uh, eating and knitting. I have over there maybe information about a tea, some tea that I got randomly, I thought it was really good. Um, and a jar of pickles. <laughs> Then I have a Christmas hut, so it's more like a cake dessert version. Uh, you don't have to put it in the oven, just tell you that. And this you have to put it in the oven. Uh, and I call it a lazy cake because uh, the only thing what you need over here is a bowl, a spoon and a cup. Well, I use two other things, but I like it because you don't have to wash so many dishes. You don't have eggs in it, so that that. Although you use soda bread and yogurt, that's why you have those two things. So even though I added a milk, and I know you can change that milk to almond milk, I'm not sure about yogurt. I think, uh, well, I have in the family someone who is allergic to dairies, and um, there is yogurt that you can use, maybe soy yogurt, and that will work, but basically, and the idea of soda bread is to combine with bacteria in yogurt to make the cake go up, raise. <laughs> um, so yeah, you could go completely vegan with it, I presume. I haven't tested it myself, but I think my sister did. And it was something that I was just, you know, being lazy. <laughs> That's why I call it lazy cake. But it's a taste like a... Um, Maybe like a chocolate cake, well, not really. My sister has a brilliant uh, recipe that you can have actually a cake uh, made of beetroots and they that tastes like a chocolate cake and it's so healthy. If if you had it and no one would have told you, I, yeah, but it's not that one. Maybe I'll get that one and make it one day. I like it because um, I put over here just a half of a cup of sugar and I put over here four and a half uh, tablespoons of oil and that's basically most things you have. Obviously you have flour over here. I didn't use plain flour because I don't use plain flour. I use a spelled flour. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, enjoy. And I know you're tempted now and you want to get one for yourself, right? Yeah, so I was uh, thinking that you might and I recorded a short, I think five minutes, a video on my channel, so check it out. This is here and I'll leave a link down below that you can see how I make it, how I make it and um, you can try it yourself. Just to be aware, it's not a professional video, but something, something there. Can you talk about cake for more than five minutes? I think I can. So let's move on to what's what, what am I wearing. This is a, a arboreal, arboreal sweater by Jennifer Steinkast. I love it so much. I used um, during the trips around Ireland because we have vlogs on this channel too. You probably know. Um, I grabbed some yarn, which is 100% uh, Irish wool. Well, at least it can be bought in Ireland in like a big things. And I got two of this lovely gray and one of this lovely navy that's not black that's navy and it kind of accidentally got oversized which i love and i would love to have another two like this <laughs> if i could um i have another two of this uh, patterns of jennifer's because she has a deal you can buy three patterns in the of in a price of two. Uh, so I got that and I enjoyed it so much. Obviously I have a finished object video because on this channel you can find that too. So you don't have to look through my episodes. Go check it out. I'll leave a link down below. It looks like this. Uh, and the next thing that I'm wearing is a hat and uh, I didn't follow any pattern. I just went through um, and just created a pattern. I didn't put it up and I don't want to put it up because I treat it as a very something special special. I got uh, this lovely yarn which was dyed by a viewer. She is not uh, um, a yarn dyer so I treat it as a special thing and I'm using it as often as I can because yeah isn't it cool that even though people say that you can connect digitally you actually can <laughs> and that's basically what I find about it and I love it so much. Susan I love it. So here on the screen you can see also uh, there is a finished object video about it and you can uh, listen to what I was talking, 
what I was saying about it at that time. I don't even remember what I said. Probably I should look it up again. Okay, so this is it. This is all. That's what I love. Three, in the jar section. Normally I have in the jar section, but I haven't prepared anything. I don't have anything written down over here, so sorry about that. In the jar section, I will pull someone out next month. Who did I pull out last time? Oh, last time in episode 62, I was uh, pulling one person, one podcaster from the jar, which was De Devon from Francophile podcast. So uh, she hasn't got in touch with me. So if you'd be so kind and just let her know, I don't want to be like, hey, you, you know what? You won my podcast. It would be nicer if a viewer said that. You know what? There is a chance you should check this one because she's talking about you. So Devon, if you're watching it, go check my shop and see what you like and let, and let me know what do you like in my shop. And I will um, present you something and an extra bit for, I don't know, giveaway, Instagram giveaway, whichever you like. So let's move on to the knitting contents, a little bit chill for, and now what's off my chest, what's off my needles. All right, so first things first on the screen is 915 drops, Fable Sucks. On the screen, you can see them now. Actually, you see this pile over here. I have um, packed nicely if you've seen it on Instagram. I don't think I saved it. Maybe I don't have anything. But yeah, I packed it and I'm going to give it as a gift to my family members. So don't feel that you feel left out. And I recorded a finished object video about these. And uh, yeah, as I I'm pointing out, as I'm pointing out over here, it's ready to be gifted. Then we have the next three videos, and all those videos are about my new design, which is called Elf Zone hat and the first one is all about a pattern and uh, I'm showing medium size and, and then we're moving on to another video which I'm talking about a large size and we're going into the third video and I'm showing a small size. Uh, I want to knit another one. I'm thinking of mixing two fingerings together or three fingerings to get the gauge for um, worsted because the hat is written for worsted weight yarn. And that's the thing, I, it rings a bell if I mix, I think two fingerings should I get DK, right? So if I mix three fingerings, I will get worsted. Um, so I was thinking to mix something with the yarn that I have and make another one for a gift thinking about it. Thank you so much for all the comments, all the messages. I'm so happy you enjoy the pattern. Uh, some of you bought it, so thank you so much. You're planning to knit it for this uh, coming Christmas holidays and gift to your relatives and friends. I actually gifted my the green one and uh, the girl looks so cute. And then we have unboxing uh, from Knitcrate. I'm receiving three boxes and used to, I was recording three separate videos, but it was loads of work and I thought, you know what, it's still loads of work, uh, but I was just joining in together. And that way, um, if you want, you can then in timestamp down below that video, go to the box you want to see. Um, so yeah, I received three boxes and I opened them. I love them so much. There is a few new things. Obviously, I'm mentioning every time that they're so generous not only sending me boxes, but they're giving 20% off to any new subscribers by using KIL20, it's affiliate link. So they will acknowledge that I that you're coming in from me and they will support me a little bit more. So yeah, I'm uh, using, uh, I open it, subgrade, uh, a subgrade membership box and I'm knitting a hat. So you'll see yarn. Um, then I opened Artisan Box and we got um, other yarn. I thought I'm going to use it, but I mixed it together for a shawl and it did not work the way I wanted. So it wasn't about the color, it was more about the texture I was getting. It wasn't so fluffy. So I was, I'm was i just using Knit Crate membership yarn uh, because both of them were, one is in its in-house yarn, the Knit Crate membership, and the other one is from a yarn dyer. Um, but they both were the same weight and they were fingering and they both are singles. Even though I wanted to, for instance, try to do a garment, I wouldn't with singles because they pill, so uh, that's that. Let me show you. Here is Dragonfly Fibers, and this is a caked yarn. You can see, and I hope you can see it's singles. Um, so at the moment it's in the cake version because I frogged a bit. The rest you're going to see it because I have oops there. 
Okay, and then I was showing you amazing sweater that I finished. And some of you just, well, you have just cast it on. <laughs> but as I mentioned, um, I work full time and I worked um, in a place that it's very busy most of the time. And for the last month, we're having a big upgrade. So the th two thirds of the area that I normally um, supervise, because I'm a supervisor, it's under big, big upgrade, big building construction. So I'm supervising that, let's say that away, but that doesn't need to be supervised. And uh, we have a brilliant project manager, and uh, but we have a one third of that. And I work with amazing people, and um, that's the only thing that I would wish everyone could have, that if you work with other people that you don't have any tensions, the group is friendly, and I, I have it all. So I would not swap it for anything else, because for me that would be a danger, that you could end up in a group that some people don't like each other or anything like that. We have amazing friendship and uh, connection, and it's just the best. <laughs> Life is not only about money, I would say. Uh, so anyway, so that's that. And that's why I have a little bit here and there to knit for a bit. And that's what I've been knitting, doing. No worries. Life is not all about flowers and sunshines. Uh, once that, that area will be done, it's going to be very, very busy. And I'm just, <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. So move on. I finished a sweater and on the screen you can see it. It is Mosaico sweater by Filippa and um, it is a free pattern and I was shocked that, that such a beautiful, beautiful sweater is for free. So I would say grab it because that may change uh, and it's really lovely and I thought it's uh, a beautiful color combination, color construction for everyone. I think everyone would enjoy it if you don't know someone else's taste. And I knitted it for my sister. She hasn't received it yet. It's packed over here. Also with uh, with another uh, gift that she already put it on, but I told her it's it's her present, so she's not going to get it. Well, she hasn't in the past. <laughs> she's going to get it now, which is on the screen now, which is um, getting warmer cowl, and that fits her beautifully. And I presume the sweater will fit her too, because I was able to get into it, as you could see on the video. So check it out, link down below, definitely. And um, and a few people have knitted it, and there's different com uh, color combination. And most people went with a with a contrast color, which was uh, lighter. Uh, I used 50 grams of Drops Lima for the color. Uh, combo but I use like I said I knitted small a version small size and to get I haven't I think mentioned that in the video to get a gauge uh, I had to go needle size smaller I got a gauge on three millimeters I don't know that gauge for me was very very kind of it's not I like fabric to be bouncy and, you, uh, and I could get that with 3.5 millimeters, and I love that thing. I actually went to 3.5 millimeters later on, uh, but the body I started with 3 millimeters, and almost I could put the sweater <laughs> up and be standing on its own, let's say that way. At least that body. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so one thing that I'm thinking of in regards to um, knitting garments, first I try to. Um, well, I fail on this one, right? But normally I try to uh, find the fabric, do a swatch and get the fabric I want. And then I'm looking for a pattern to fit my gauge because then I'm happy with the fabric I'm getting. For some designers, this tightness would be their thing. Uh, for me, it was a little bit too tight. Uh, but it's not for me, it's my sister. We shall see how she likes it. Maybe after I didn't block it, I didn't wa wash it, it will bloom. I don't know, yeah, well, let's just see. And now let's move on to another finished object, which is, ladies and gentlemen, my first ever brioche project and hat. And um, here it is. Ding, 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 ding. This is Harlow Hat by Andra Mowry. It is a paid for pattern. I'll put the link down below to videos. Just to let you know, under every video, finished object video, I have a link to a pattern in my web project page. So you go there and you scroll. You don't have to read anything when I'm writing on there. Just scroll down below and then you have a paid for pattern link to Ravelry. Or you can just write it down and find it yourself. Um, so yay! So I have this one and for this I used a silk blend yarns 
check it out what I use if you're interested and um, it's reversible I forgot to tell you that I made the boo-boo over here so normally it looks like this it's reversible uh, but here what did I do ah this is actually a join beginning of a round and I did that and I kind of notice and figure out what I was doing wrong and I'm fine it's in the back even if I wanted to use it as a yellow um, I can always put it down there because no one is going to look directly over here, right? Uh, so yeah, I thought it's a really cool idea, I haven't mentioned that in the video too, to create a hat like that for your walks. Because let's say it's, uh, you want to be use it as, as a like everyday thing, but you're finding yourself in an area that you want to be visible, so you just go over here and the cars can see you. Because who would not see a huge yellow head? <laughs> Okay, so uh, I knitted, oh, just to tell you, I, I did a, a, a hiccup over that. Anyway, I'm telling you during the, the, the video, I actually emailed even Dra because I thought something is wrong with the pattern. And nothing is wrong with the pattern. Um, the pattern is written for the child, small and large. And the same way it is written for cast on stitches and as you would in any pattern. Somehow I thought that I'm doing, because I was middle, I was knitting the middle number, right? I thought I was doing a middle size. <laughs> so anyway. Check the video, you will have laugh. Um, but even though I was knitting a, a small size according to the pattern, I haven't checked my gauge and I moved my, I think the pattern recommends you to knit on bigger needles and I used three millimeters. Let's see what the pattern recommends. Yeah, pattern recommends you to knit to 3.25 to 3 millimeters. I went to three. So I think I should, I'm too loose knitter, I told you. Probably go should go less, but Either way, it's fine. It could be also the blend that I used as a silk and merino. It could be a little bit stretchy because that's also. But silk is heavy, so it can get longer, I would say. Okay, yeah, I know. Move on. And we're moving on to my lovely, I linked it already, lazy cake. So if you want to make it, go check it out. Um, I'm calling a healthier version of something sweet. Okay, that's all in regards to what's off my chest, what's off my needles. And now let's go what's on my needles and what's on my chest. On my chest, oh, there are plenty. <laughs> I probably should talk about it, but we should see how long that will take. And maybe first knitting and then maybe the rest. Okay, so I'll be randomly taking stuff. So let's wrap this. Oh, yeah. So we have a beautiful uh, bag. And this is from my friend who's actually based in Denmark and uh, she has an Instagram name which is called Easy Bike. Uh, she doesn't sell by, uh, she doesn't sell bags, but she loves knitting from time to time and, uh, and she likes sewing from time to time. Uh, she loves bikes more basically. Uh, <laughs> so here it is and uh, we ha I have here Knit for a Bit and I have here Socks. Oh yeah, I received a beautiful present Someone was spoiling me rotten and got me uh, this amazing yarn from Regia, Regia um, Aquarius, uh, two knit socks for Sebastian. And this is unusual because we have here 150 grams, which is 375 meters. I calculated it from uh, for 100 grams, which gives 250 meters. So this is kind of a DK sock yarn. Um, therefore, I've never knitted, well, I knitted DK socks actually. I knitted like 16 pairs when I was 15, but yeah. You know, Let's let's move on. But not on this channel. I don't think so. Yeah, this is the first time. So I thought it's going to be fun and quick thing to do. 75 oh yeah, so what it is. This is 75% uh, new wool and 25% polyamide. The color is maybe I'll show you Aquarius. Just in case I'm saying it wrong. Do you see it now? Yeah, Aquarius. Brilliant. I'll move to the number just in case. So here is the number. Lovely, you have it. You see how beautiful the yarn is. Okay, maybe leave it like that. And then I knitted one sock, one at a time, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see, I knitted from the toes up. I cast it on ten stitches, but I think I could go with um, with twelve by usual, as usual. And I was extending it to fifty six stitches because I wanted to get ten centimeters over here. For me, I need nine centimeters over here. Um, so yeah, I was decreasing it and I marked the stitch that I'm going to knit in the round. I know I have to do approximately 70, um, 
70 rounds for Sebastian with fingering. With this, I just took a fingering yarn and just saw when I put the heel. So somewhere over here, I'm going to do afterthought heel when I cut the yarn. I was knitting until I thought, uh, that's that. And this here, anything else? Two by two rib. The color is really nice. Check the screen. Really nice, isn't it? And here, and here I have another one. And I saw a lady on Instagram using my DPN pouches for silicone needles, and this is how she uses it. So I tried to copy her and uh, test it. Obviously, this is not only the other thing that I'm using for the first time for the socks is these Chagu 2.75 millimeter needles, which is Chagu 275. Okay, if 2.25 is one, 2.5 will be one. So that's your size two, I think. And the only thing that I can say is different, that you could see that one area, it's not so strong, it kind of pulls. It could be because of the cable, and Chagu cable is very, very stiff. Yeah, I'll show you. Very stiff. Doesn't fall. You can see it. Lovely. So here it is. Uh, I'm using it, but um, just for this project, I'm not going to use it anymore because it is a little more difficult to round it up. I don't know, it's kind of upside down, so review of my own pouches. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but you can definitely use it if you have it. Obviously you can have it for DPNs or you can use it for hooks if you're doing anything, if you're crocheting. So uh, this is it. So that's for Seb. And like I said, this is a knit for a bit, so it's not a project that I ooh, ooh, finish or, you know, it's just if you don't have anything else to do, just grab it and go. And especially because it's a thicker yarn, it's more, it's quicker to knit. Yeah. Let's move on, what's here? Um, we have a hat, Bags by Dan. I will, I will put the link down below. I just got myself a bag. For Halloween. So here it is for, okay, so here is the yarn that I received from Knit Crate Box, which is a sub crate for this month. This is what I got. A oh, beautiful. And when I got it, when I touched it, it's just for me. It's an in-house yarn and it's just too good to be socks. <laughs> anyway, so um, I decided to knit a hat. At the moment, I have so much. I'm not following any pattern. I'm just trying to go with the flow and just maybe design something. We shall see how it goes. Um, so here it is, my the beginning of it. And I'm knitting it on three millimeters, higher higher, as you can find them in my shop if you're looking, if you're looking for higher highs. And I hold it in my pouch. More about the yarn you can see on the screen is Vidalana. We have 80% over here wool and 20% nylon, but they split that 80% wool to two types of wool. And you can check them on the screen and you can see that it's like 40 meters, so it's fingering. The color, Mallard. Check it out. I love it. I haven't knitted a lot on it uh, because my brain is just kind of busy. Um, but from time to time, I've done something, yeah? Here, another bag, and this bag was made by a local lady ages ago. She's got well better now. So I'll put link down below, my cottage number nine. Am I right? Well, check her bags now, they're beautiful. Uh, so what do I have over here? I have this, DPN needles, yes, another sock. What I'm knitting is Mrs. Baker Bear. Well, I've just started. I stopped because I'm thinking how to fill it in. I have some leftovers with the yarn and I've never actually filled. Um, I'll show you. For stuffing inside, do you think it's a good idea if I just put these, you know, like scraps that I'm gathering? Um, and I don't know, so I stopped and at the moment I'm thinking of it. I'm knitting it on three millimeters and just to show you maybe on the screen, oh yeah, here on the screen now you can see how the bear looks like. And I have some mixed yarn over here. I presume this is acrylic. I don't have a label, so I can't tell you what it is. The actual pattern is written down for circular needles. So I may switch, but I just want to have fun with the DPNs. Because I'm not a DPN person, but I think somehow for toys it's okay to use DPNs. I don't know. Yay! So I found something like this, so this will be my bear. 
And yeah, I have a bit of stash of acrylic yarn and I'm thinking what to do with it too. So my brain is just all around the place. So a toy, a toy. Move on, I made this bag myself. What do we have over here? Socks. Ooh, I know what we have over here. Ta -da! We have so socks and I'm knitting these two at a time. Something is with me and with the yellow, don't you think? <laughs> so right, we have over here, this is my first pouch, uh, my one flower power collection, circular. Then we have needles, US size one, which is 2.25 millimeters. They're interchangeable. Hiya's in my shop too, if you want to grab one for yourself. That's why we have a pink cable, because pink cable, it's a sock cable. And the Hiya's operates from perspective of the, si uh, of the names of the cables. You can have sock, small or large. And it's not about the length of the cable, it's about the connectors, because um, the connectors for the cable fit certain sizes for needles. Okay, so let's move on to yarn. Well, at the moment, socks would be plain vanilla socks. Here I started with this. This is Drops Fable, that actually amazing ball. <laughs> Why amazing, you know? Uh, 915, and it didn't, they didn't die properly, but I thought I will use it for things like this, so it really doesn't matter. And so, yep, Drops Fable. Some finding uh, finding Nemo. <laughs> no, actually finding a proper spot because I want them matchy matchy. So I caked one, divide the cakes to two fifties, pull it until I got the same spot and just start it. And the yarn. The yarn is comfort. I've never knitted with this yarn before, and that was funny. But I go for walks, and uh, as I said. I watch podcasts, sometimes I go on Instagram, sometimes I put stories when I'm walking. And I went on Instagram and straight away pop up that Kay from Baker Bears, she's doing D-Stash and she um, sells five balls of yarn. And <laughs> there was just three sets, at least when I was checking, and I got one, can you believe it? Um, basically, I was thinking, oh my God, what I'm doing, I should get another one, but when I went back on it, it was gone. <laughs> So when else will enjoy it, I will definitely, it will take me a while to knit those five balls. So we have comfort socks. And this is how they're going to look. Are oh, they going to be amazing? Um, actually, should I do a heel like that? I think I'll do a heel the same color. I think I'll do it looks amazing. It's just the toe maybe is going to be different. Um, so it is German Socken Wolle. Again, on the screen, 70% superwash wool, 25% polyamide, and I think farbe is the color, so quite interesting. Other than that, nothing, nothing else. If you knitted with this yarn, let me know what do you think about it. On Instagram, you can even give me your Instagram name, I will check it, or even tag me on those photos. Can't wait. And I won't be showing you what I got, I'll be showing you while I'm knitting with them. Although, spoiler alert, they're here. <laughs> Do you see them? Do you see them? Here, 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 and here. Oh, they make me smile. Anyway, they make me smile, I can see them, and I love them so much. So leave it, because otherwise that would be a very long episode. I'm so happy. Thank you, Kay, so much. As I wrote down, I'm going to love them. Okie dokie. So I actually started, like, how many rows I have? Three. But again, no rush with that. Pleasure, not pressure. Yay! Another one. I know. Socks. That moment when the yarn got stuck in the zipper. <sighs> so here I have socks, well, they, they're not finished. Uh, but you can see I have a pouch, this is a flower, uh, <laughs> this is a silent forest design on it, a circular needles, and we have the same story, high highs interchangeable, uh, US size 1 to 0.25 millimeters on the cord, 40, um, it's a sock cord and it is 40 inches, so 100 centimeters. Down below if you're interested to grab some. I have socks! Over here I have one ho, so half finished object. Ho? It should be how ho. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so here it is, here how it's going to look on my zone. I love it so much. 
Mm -hmm. And um, this already is another one, so I just need to do a heel and I have it finished. So I believe these will be my next finished object video. As you can see, you see that thing, it's a four ply and two plies are one color and two other two plies is just that this kind of gradient long print version and now yarn what i'm using for the heels toes and stuff i'm using a drops and the color drops fable and the color is 917 917 long print and then the main color is Patton's Croy socks. I received it as a gift for someone generous. And the color is clay colors. I actually received 250 gram balls and I was thinking to knit socks together. But when I was looking for the, you know, matching spot, I couldn't find it. So I rounded the whole 50 grams without finding it. So I thought, okay, so maybe it's a different dye lot. But no, it's exactly the same. I'll show you. So here is that second second ball and they didn't look the same way. This blue was completely different uh, so I'm not sure will it knit up the same way and when I was comparing colors they didn't look the same way. That's not a problem. So what I did I took that ball and divided it to two 25 meter grams and basically what I was doing I was knitting it from the toes up as I normally do. I did something different with the toe. I did different increases than normally I'll do. So, no. Anyway, I was knitting a toe up and I was knitting until I finish with the whole thing. Um, so I don't have any leftovers. But what you can notice, that one is longer than another one. Which I don't mind, I think it's going to be very cool. <laughs> anyway, you roll it down and that'll be fine. And I just wanted to finish everything because otherwise it would be a waste I would say I think I, I don't know so what do you think let me know would you survive with and as you can see it's different so probably that was also the same thing with the other 50 I was getting first this color and as you can see I was starting with this that was my this is my first sock so probably this the the balls are exactly the same way it's just the end that I was pulling I was showing with two different ones and they end up two different ones Probably what I could do, I could start knitting with this 50 gram balls, do exactly the same thing and I would get exactly two different ones and then uh, move and join this one together and then with the other one join these two together. Actually I may do that. What do you think? Um, because with these I was thinking now that I could finish them and maybe gift them to someone but now I'm thinking they're completely two different socks and I might use that other 50 and knit the same pair and then join the socks you know one sock from one batch and another sock from another batch and then probably I'll do finish object video waiting for another pair to be finished and then joining them properly here in my twist bag I've never been in Canada just to let you know twist is a yarn festival in Canada I received it as a gift I'm knitting a garment. Eventually I'm knitting a garment with the yarn that I got during the Christmas. Eek! <laughs> and I have that much. <laughs> uh, so what yarn it is. It is Salmon Week Colors and I know the colorway is a, it is a, it is a first snow. So you can see here how it looks in this cane. Ooh, I know, I know. It is a fingering weight and I'm knitting it on three millimeters. I'm starting, I'm trying to design something for myself. We shall see how it goes. Uh, pleasure, not pressure. That's why I have so little because I would dream to just sit maybe on the holidays. I'll take that on the holidays. I thought not to, oh sorry. I thought not to take anything on my holidays, just no knitting whatsoever and see. But then I'm thinking about that and I'm a little bit weird feeling inside me. I think it's addiction now. <laughs> if I can't live without it for two weeks. Uh, well, for a week actually. Okay, so we shall see how it goes. Would you go on Help Is Without your, um, without a project? Because I think I could go with this one. Just one project. And maybe socks, just to be sure. If I don't want to knit. Probably during the holidays I could be I don't know, that's the thing. I'll be very busy and then I will knit on socks. Or I could have time for myself and then I could focus on the garment. 
You never know. That's the thing with me, you never know. And the last one on my needles with this beautiful bag, Bags by Diane. This is the prettiest bag I own. You can guess why. <laughs> and we have a shawl. This is officially my new design. So I'm going to show you my wrong side. I'm using the yarn uh, from uh, the Knit Crate membership. I think that's my favorite box. I can have my favorite box, right? Uh, Knit Crate membership. I love Knit Crate in house uh, yarn, the base. I love it. Uh, obviously, the color was sometimes it's not something that you will, you know, um, be happy with, but the yarn itself is really good. And I have few friends now who are actually getting boxes, and we have a top topic at the same conversation like you know we can start something and I remember with one um, box one lady did not really like the color of the knit crate gives you opportunity and go to the Ravelry they have a group you can do like sw swaps or a uh, distashes even um, but she dyed it and she knitted a hat and it's just beautiful I wish I could ask and I show it because it's just breathtaking. When I said I asked her what color did she use and I was like I knitted a hat with it. How did you manage to get the color like that? And I don't think she even is a, like a indie dyer. If you're watching, you know what I'm talking about. You knit a beautiful hat and I commented. I think um, uh, during our cows. I mentioned the cows later just to give you time after this lovely chat to go and browse through things. So anyway, this is the, the yarn I got in the crate boxes. As you can see, it's a delicate blue color, going into beige sometimes, but now you could see blue, I hope, with this gentle speckles. Okay, first I'm going to see, so it's a their base Uru. So you could see this Uru yarn, I think that's how you say it. I got a color silence, but they, oh, the, the, all the colors are also amazing. And as you can see, just have a sneak peek on the other one. Um, we have speckled singles, 100% of rouge merino. We have fingering weight, 417 yards, which is 380 meters. Yeah, and 100 grams. So to knit this sweater, I'm using both of them. So I'm creating kind of a DK feeling so here it is that's how much I have and and this is the wrong side I love it I wanted to take the yarn and just cast on something from my head very quickly and once I do a few rounds I was like okay let's do this you know just to spice things up a bit and I was knitting with it and I was like wow this is so cool and I'm a real ravelly holic um, because I got on Ravelry like once or twice and uh, with my friend we're going to the main section uh, patterns and we check always what's hot or what's new and we like analyze everything so so far I haven't seen any shawl this way so I'm yeah I'm hoping it will be mine and the name of it I like 80% know that it's going to be called certain way I'm going to say it out loud and uh, I'll be looking for testnetters definitely and definitely um, so you need two I would say kind of like that just delicate speckled a uh, yarn fingering both the pattern will show nicer than like if you have variegated but you can do variegated too or I was thinking that's why I wanted to join two together because my first idea was to knit with these two together uh, but I didn't get that effect that I wanted to well maybe that the, it didn't blend the same way. I believe I like these two colors if they were just next to each other, not mixed together. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, so yeah, that's why I left that alone. But I think once I finish with these, I will use, because in Artisan Crate, you also get two skeins. Um, I know it patterns, and um, but um, I'm thinking to maybe cast it on once I finish this to knit this again with this yarn and see and compare then those two yarns together because that's kind of it's more fluffier than this. Now in the cake maybe it's not that I don't feel it that much because maybe the maybe the way it was put in this game it was very tight because you could see when I'm opening boxes the sizes of it together. It's just big difference um, in this game, so yeah. Right, so I'm designing a shawl and this time I'm not going to knit all the shawl. I'm uh, stopping right now to initiate writing the pattern because I don't want to then find out myself having boo-boos around the place. But test knitters, be aware. 
if you test a thing for me, be aware anything can happen. Uh, so, right, um, I think that's all and we're going to move to another section. Okay, so let's talk about cows and all ravelry goodness, let's say it that way. I moved it, I had it normally before, but now I have it at the end because, let's face it, at the end of the podcast, you probably will have more time once you finish watching to go and browse all those things through. So all the links are down below, so check it out if you want to, all the things, all the things all the things around this uh, this area. So we, I'm hosting three cows. One is a knitted hat cow. Any cats knitted, crocheted hats will go. It's annual. I'm going to have it as long as I can, let's say that way. Uh, so post, I it's not about the time. It's about we're waiting until we get a, a certain number of finished objects there and then I will pull um, one person out to win prize. If you want to know what the prize is, just go to and I took a photo. Now, the second is knit, knitting, crocheting, make-along. So basically, whatever you make, you can post over there. And the same thing, we do not have a time limit over there. It's a finished object, so it depends how many people are, join, is go, are going to join or how many people are going to knit, how fast you're going to knit and, and uh, enter. Then I will be pulling a prize and prize is already the photos over there, what the prize is, so check it out. And the third one, Third one was my Wild Bloom Shawl. I think I have only two entries. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull now a winner. And you've seen already the prize, there are two skeins there. And the prize for the Wild Bloom Shawl is this amazing set, tags. It's so fluffy, it doesn't really. This beautiful yarn. And the yarn that I knitted actually my um, wild bloom shawl to. I'm going to put it into the kind of cake flatter version. So, yay! So let's see who wins. So the number is three. <laughs> so the winner is Fiber Chronicles. Bonnie, you won! Congratulations, get in touch with me. And because there was one more participant, uh, let's say you also win something from me, you can pick any pattern from my shop if you don't have it. And this, in this section, I also want to mention that um, I'm open for swaps. And um, the first swap I'm going to have is with Erin uh, from NV Knitting Podcast. I'm going to put her link down below because we already made our pow pow packages and sent it to to each other. So idea is that I received loads of puka tea and uh, most of the puka teas have licorice in them and I'm not really a fan. I'm not really a fan even on the rubus tea. Right, so the, the most idea, ideal situation will be if someone really likes uh, licorice tea and would want to swap. So um, I created a, a thread on Ravelry so maybe more people will be interested and there was a few things just read it and I have my post there too. Um, there's kind of a section so uh, number four will be done free and if I'm in the process of swapping with someone I write on process and so on and so on. Anyway read it and let me know what you think about it. Um, the idea is that the parcel will not weigh more than 100 grams so I figure out that a 3 by 20 grams uh, minis will fit uh, and three tea bags of a tea. That's the main thing uh, the swap is about. Swap, I'm thinking once I get Erin's um, minis, I'm, I'm thinking of knitting a hat or a socks or I'm not sure. I'm, I think I, I'm, I don't know, I think I would love to maybe play with socks with them or anyway, once I see it, it'll be either a hat or socks because with a 60 grams, you can definitely do it. So uh, that way it will be a kind of a piece of that person living with me too. I don't know, it's so cool. So there's one more spot so far. I'll be putting from time to time. I just need to gather me each and, uh, and a time. But if I have it, then I will post a, a new post in that thread. And uh, whoever wants to uh, swap to, I'll just write it down. I think there's like a point. Do you want to do it internationally? So you have to tell where you live. I was open for internationally. So um, maybe I should write that I'm from Ireland too, because just in case someone wants to swap from Ireland to Ireland. Anyway, I'm thinking out loud. And so anyway, if you're interested, if you don't like her licorice, but you know someone who would not mind, so you can always swap with me and just give them <laughs> a tease. Um, and I know, teas are not the, I think minis are the most fun, so definitely find a thing for teas. 
Another interesting thing that's kind of on my chest uh, was about the tea bags. Uh, I was watching latest uh, Bakery Bears uh, and they were showing that they got a tea and they were showing the tea bags and they're kind of the kind of triangular thing. And I always thought that that fiber is more plasticky thing. It had that feeling. And I was looking for, and for, since I, I think I came across a bag like that, tea bag like that, I was trying to find information on actual packages from what it's made of and, um, and I couldn't. And most tea, companies don't inform, don't put information on the on the boxes so that was always something that was on my mind and then when i was um swimming in this knitting fiber related community uh, i uh, was listening to some indie dyers and the way they dye yarn and how they dye um socks in or connects to fiber itself there's different fiber type types you can have plant or uh, protein based one you know and and so on and so on there's loads of things involved you can diet naturally uh, so very healthy to environment and to yourself or like using acids so i learned a lot and more main thing what i've heard first was about um getting colors like white that naturally there's nothing like white exists so to get the white color you have to bleach it so basically all the bags um and kind of that information run in my back of my head. And once, because I was going into herbal teas and I was starting with puka teas, but you know, I just developed and I like to mix uh, my herbs together now. It's that um, eventually I came across a bag, I don't remember the company, but they actually had information on the box that it's a cotton tea bag and it's not bleach. Therefore, the differences in the color, it's not um, a faulty product or something like that, because basically cotton is, you know, has that tonal, tonal effect. Um, and that kind of clicked to me that, oh, I've heard this, this, this before, and what do you think about it? So anyway, on Instagram, I put, put a photo over here about the tags now, about the bag, tea bags, and I was asking you about it. Uh, so, and I kind of did a little research after that. Um, basically, Google, just write it down, and you could get information about a few brands, how the bags are made. Most of them are made with cellulose or some cotton, but in some brands, there is a bit of the sealed bit that they write down it's a plastic. Um, however, uh, Anna from Dunka Grun, if you don't know who that is, I'll put a link down below. She has a very interesting podcast about she is a um, chemist uh, during the day and she's a knitter during the night. <laughs> Let's say it that way. Um, so yeah, she's, she's more um, aware of the situations. And she said there's something like that, like PLA. Maybe on the screen I'll write it down. So um, she said something that is like a new thing to plastic, but it's made with uh, organic things and it's, you know, it's friendlier to environment and it should be friendlier to people then. Uh, so anyway, I went on the wiki and read about it. I'm still vague and I can't decide. Normally, you know, I just um, pour the teas into these like this. Um, and I try to prepare it that way. Um, yeah, but what do you think about it? There's something like fiber related stuff, isn't it? And the fiber is a bit. Do you use it? Have you ever thought about it? And so let me know down below. I'm interested. And what kind of um, brands are actually putting information about tea bags on their boxes? Okay, that's it. So let's move on to a shop section. For my shop section, I have two things. So now on the screen, you could see all the whips that I have. And slowly, I'll be showing you how I'm using my pouches. And you could see uh, DPNs over there, the DPN pouch over there. You can see a circular pouch over there. You can see all those things. And how do I use them? How I clip them? And it's quite, it was quite difficult to show you because I was standing and my hands were just, in, and I was just hogging my camera, let's say that way. So I hope you enjoyed this, this bit and you could see actually a clear, maybe some stuff and how I use them. And you might like and use them yourself. If you do, go check it out. There's a link to my a little shop. Check it out at thetakelab.com slash shop. Um, the second thing that's new in my shops 
is my markers. I decided to use two things that I like to use. I like to use my uh, tags and have a version of a marker and edit with a bulb uh, kind of version of a marker so over here so if you're interested to grab any of these check it out it sucks mittens hat shawls and sweater i'll show you maybe a few uh patterns that i have over here and i hope you enjoy the whole episode uh go and check out Instagram. See you next one. Don't forget to use hashtag and take it off. Show me what you're knitting. Say hi to me on Instagram. I'm over there and can't wait to say hi to you. Um, I think that's it. I think I haven't forgot about anything. Probably it is. But if I did, till the next one. Bye.